All right, guys, welcome back. This is going to be day three of a hot rod power tour west. We at home last night, late last night. wasn't horrible, but it was a little later than we expected. It ended up taking us about six hours to do about a three and a half hour drive. Uh, old Dooley ended up uh, developing a shake that I just can't imagine. It felt like it was a square tire. It was so rough. Uh, shake in the truck. Like, uh, so pissy if it's a wheel if it was just a wheel and trailer tire uh made it home ended up cruising the 15 freeway at like 45 miles an hour for probably close to 70 80 miles and then uh stopped in baker did a little bit of work on it just to try and see if we could get uh get it back to normal unfortunately still has a shake to it i think uh i think we knocked a wheel weight off somewhere because uh it feels like it's got a square tire but we ended up walking around last night um I pulled off all the caps, ran around, checked all the lug nuts, stuff like that. Everything was tight. Everything was good. Um, I honest to God don't know why it was shaking so bad. Like it was shaking bad, bad. So I'm actually wondering now. Huh, I'm wondering if it's these tires on the trailer. Because that looks a, like a flatter tire than I'll be... If it's these damn tires, I'm gonna be so upset. So I end up getting up underneath the truck and the only way to get underneath this dually with uh, any bit, <laughs> with any bit of like, let's face it, I'm not a small guy. <laughs> I'm definitely not a small guy for midsection. So, but uh, my father-in-law's got these running boards on this truck and uh, I can't slide my butt underneath it uh, to save my life. Well. My yeah, um, so I ended up having to park up on a curb just to get a, that extra little couple of inches so I can get up underneath it. I ended up finding a U-joint that had pretty excessive, well, I don't wanna say excessive. It had more side slop, like like sideways, than I really wanted. So we ended up pulling it apart, um, dropping the drive line out of it, pulling the caps off, and I put spacers to shim the caps. And it uh, didn't really change much. Um, Went around, checked all the lug nuts on the thing, and uh, I don't know, still had a shake on the way home. And uh, it was harmonic, so like it'd come and go like a, like a wave. It was really, really weird. So there was times where we were down to like 40, uh, 35, 40, and then we could run it back up to 55, 60 with no problem. So why, I have no idea. I'll see if I can get some video of that uh, put in this uh, video today. It's probably not gonna, I haven't done uh, edited yesterday's, um video yet but uh i'll see if i can get some of that either in uh, yesterday's or today's but i had to get up real quick and film this intro because we have a beautiful sunrise beautiful beautiful sunrise so i really think it's these tires on this trailer now i'm gonna unhook the dually this morning and make a, a run up and down the street in the dually um so long story short, these wheels and tires are foam filled, they're solid. And that one looks completely different than it did before. Like this looks completely flat now. And it was not like that when I put these wheels and tires on. So it's the first time I've ever ran um, like solid rubber filled or foam filled, whatever they are. Like you don't even put air in these tires. So, Maybe it was just the trailer tire. Oh my God, I'm gonna be so pissy if it was just a trailer tire. I'm gonna be so pissy if it was just a trailer tire. <laughs> I'm gonna be so pissy if it was just a trailer tire. But anyway, we're uh, we're getting them both down there today. If it's a trailer tire, if, if I unhook the dually and we run down and uh, it was this trailer tire. I got a whole nother set. I'll change it. It'll be fine for the, you know, going to Pomona and back. And then uh, I'll actually buy a really nice set of wheels and tires for it. So. Oh my God, I'm gonna be so pissy if it's a wheel, if it was just a wheel and trailer tire. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh, toolbox open. Okay. Wow. 
out, guys. Well, it's official. <laughs> it was 100% the tra trailer tires. Like 100%. I can feel, I can understand why now the vibration was so violent because it was literally like shaking the truck. Like, uh, uh. Unfortunately, the only tires I have though is another set of those tires. So, <laughs> don't get me wrong, it made it all the way to Vegas with no problem. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna swap out for this other set that have never been ran before. I'm hoping that set will at least make it to Pomona and back without this much vibration. <sighs> Sorry, I'm kind of winded. I just lifted this tire. These tires are like 110 pounds a piece because they have that rubber filling in them. I just took off uh, the one that looked the worst and uh, you can see it actually split down inside. So this tire was coming apart altogether. Let's see if I can do it with some daylight. In. Oh, there we go. That's better. Yeah, dude. Split all the way through. Wow. Well, I guess the plus of the rubber filled tire is it didn't go flat and made it all the way home. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. It was one rough ride though. Man, oh man, oh man, it was a rough ride. But we'll get them swapped out. Like I said, the only other set I have right now is this set. Another set of these. We're not going nearly as far and not nearly as fast. So as long as they last just a Pomona and back, we're good. And get these things swapped out. The signs were all mixed up over there. Let's see if the fuel pump's still working or not. Just crank it like you're trying to start it. Fixing to see if a uh, fuel pump took a shit on us or not. Nothing. I, yeah, I don't have a clue. Ah, ha, ha, that all came back in my mouth. No. Oh. You all right? Okay, now this one's flowing like a champ. All right. Whew. I think the socks, the pickup tubes were plugged because they're really hard to blow back through the tanks. And then once I got like some air through it, they started going and they started draining real quick. So let's see if that's it.
little bit of problems we had. We're here, man. Going under Santa right now. Woohoo! How's it going? It's going. Good, man. How about yourself? Pretty dang good. I'll give you one on your hand. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it's a custom signature, right? Certificate. All right. Black. Nice. And your black, sir. Awesome. Thank, Have thank you very one. much, man. You too. Have a good one. We made it. We made it. Like a so nice. stuff down right now and uh, go get some food. We're kind of hungry. Walk it up and down the aisles and look who comes cruising along. Absolutely beautiful C10. Beautiful. Oof, beautiful.
Dude, this thing's stunning. This is a beautiful hot rod. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful car. Beautiful, beautiful car. <laughs> oh, you are a friendly little dog, aren't you? Oh, good, you're back. Hi. Hi, Papa. Oh, you're so nice. Oh my God, when everybody's fired up, getting ready to leave, it's nuts. It sounds so amazing. Seven two. Love the burlap sack.
absolutely amazing. Wide and rear fenders, stock bed, wide and rear fenders, full air, watts. Thank you very much. This thing is absolutely amazing. Spectacular. All right. All right. So, so I've walked nice. around and seen a bunch <laughs> of them. You all the time. Yeah, I jammed her up multiple times this weekend. She's patient, huh? You have no idea. What are you going to tell the people? I'm going to say I've got to meet Emily, Flying Sparks you Garage. Did. We're here. Here we are. Come on The last day of Power Tour West. We've done it. And it's got to be West. It's not just Power Tour, Power Tour yeah. West. Yes. So have you done many power tours in the past then? This is our absolute very first one. Really? Yes. We've gotten very fortunate. This actually all happened very close to our house. So we live we in came basically... to your hood, did we? Yes, it did. So both directions, it's within like 40 miles of our house. Dude. As far as like the route that it goes. That's pretty convenient. Yes, it is. We usually drive at least a thousand miles just to start it. So See, it could be worse. another 500, it was like 1500 miles for us to start this dang thing. But usually when we're leaving in Texas, we drive, you know, the other direction to start it. But it's you like, also had a King of the Hammers experience too, yeah, right? Yeah, we did. That came up before okay. we had planned on, well, after we had planned on doing this, the King of the Hammers thing. We're like, well, we're going to be over there. So yeah. Nice. So it kind of worked out. Convenient. Awesome. Yeah. It was awesome. All right. Hey. We're going to let her get on her way. Well, thanks for saying hi. Absolutely. Thanks for meeting us. Yeah, Kim. Y'all have a good afternoon. You too. Yeah. Time on Instagram because he's like, I'm doing the port to yeah. Dude, it's Power Tour West. Hey. We're doing the cruise in the morning. We're coming there. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told by a lot of people to make sure bring kids involved, uh, bring the younger generation involved. And you know what? I don't feel like I'm that old. I still feel like a kid, but it never really dawned on me to actually bring little kids into this. Little kids are loving this. Never once did I think that this was going to be something that they would want to do. But man, little kids love this. by this never thought one day that my car would want that anybody would want to sit in my car just to take a picture I'm so happy that they're doing this
Hot Rod Power Tour 2023 West. Remember West. We're done. It's over. People are rolling out of here. Dewey made it. It was questionable for a couple of spots, but it made it. Unfortunately, this particular venue only allowed us to bring one vehicle in. And this is one of the ones I wanted the kids to be able to hop in the car and touchy feely kind of thing. The Dooley has way too much sentimental value um, to have kids poking around inside of it right now. So we brought the rat rod with us and many, many kids, I'm gonna say in the 50s and 60s, was able to hop in the car and take a picture. So happy for that, it was a good day. Dooley's here, we got the official long hauler. Rat rod came, and uh, we We're are done. gonna call this an end. We're done. We are spent. That's day the best way of putting it. Day three, done. Let's done. go home. We're going home. On our way home, we're stopping to get something dinner, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.